we saw it towards the end of the round. Bam, right there. There were about two or three of them at the end of this round, which I think We are underway. Round one, scheduled for 12. Just landed 10 by Thurman so far. Pacquiao at six. Ooh. Bit of a smile. Missed it, you know, by a half a mile, but just landed a nice left straight left hand on Thurman. And Thurman started pressing, and there he goes. He's starting to cut loose. We get used to Manny Pacquiao's uh, rhythm. Ooh! It was a nice right hand, but Pacquiao comes right back. That's a tall order. Uh, one thing about me when I was fighting, I never bet on myself. Although I was very confident in myself, but I never bet on myself. Manny Pacquiao. Oh, and let me tell you, that was just a quick punch. And Manny Pacquiao moved in with his legs and his hands and caught Thurman backing up. Thurman thought he could back If, if I were his coach, to keep the pressure on him. His hands up, that was smart. Because you don't want to drop your hands around Pacquiao. It's hard energy goes legs very quickly, straight at you. Get out of the way. Yeah, yes. That's it like that, right there. So he does it, but even now to keep Thurman because of the body work he did. This round is very, very tight. Both guys are landing very clean, so it's up for grabs at this point. Yeah. Thurman slipped a, a left hand by Pat Cowell and came back with a, with a nice sharp counter right hand. And then we saw another sharp right from Thurman. Look at punches landed. Very close. The counter punching in accuracy. Shot, he's doing his best work. So he's backing back there up. Yeah, but I agree. If we're talking about the punch stats, I think, without a doubt, Pacquiao's punches have been much more devastating. His hands off the body. He's throwing that off. So it's always best to keep Pacquiao moving backwards. And this is what Thurman's trying to do right now. And throw combinations and then not allow Manny Pacquiao to get back at him. That's right. And see, he let him off the ropes. He had him, he had him float. There's two nice body shots from Thurman from the work in this round. All right, Lennox. Let's take a look back at overhand right when we saw it towards the end of the round. Bam, right there. There were about two or three of them at the end of this round, which I think stole the round for Thurman. Ooh, that was a little miss, but uh, yeah, that one he was looking for it twice, and he found it the second time, a little bit, and the third time. Pacquiao had the advantage early over the first couple of rounds. Keep Good right hand. That's come on. Paul Pacquiao on the right. Chance right there, went in there, and threw a nice four or five punch combination on the end of them. That's scoring points. That's winning. That's going to win the round for you on the judges' scorecards if you do that. And throwing in some nice combinations, and then he, he, he takes his foot off the gas. I think he's got to give a good three minute effort for the next, you know, six rounds of Manny Pacquiao's power punches. So there's blood stream down on both sides. Oh, good right up with that man. Oh, those punches are really. Oh, and a great right hand about Thurman. Yeah, Pacquiao, when he throws his punches, he doesn't stay there to admire his work. He's out of there. Yeah. He's showing you a different angle. I felt he worked the jab, was able to keep Manny at the distance and keep him occupied, keep him thinking so he can't watch his offense. Right now, I have an 86 to 84 Manny Pacquiao yeah, earlier uh, in that last round, and he's going back to it. Good left hook right hand by Thurman. Good up hook up by Thurman. On that front foot, and that jab swallowing it, and really did stop Thurman for a second. Nice combination by Pacquiao. Points on that. That's true, but the, the good thing is, is that Thurman isn't getting hit with it, so he's not getting.
Ball left by Papia. Five backs for Mark Hardy. This is round five, scheduled up to 12. From the MGM brand in Las Vegas. You know, he's winning this round, proving that. Well, even though man is never going to stop punching, I think Thurman's taking the action so far in this half of the fight. When he gets scared, he doesn't like it. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's like, oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. You know, he gets upset with himself. Again, we check in with our unofficial scorer, Marcos Villegas. We're talking about Thurman's philosophy. Breaks it down into rounds one through four, five through eight, nine through three. Okay, short. Sure. Thurman said in the first first quarter, he said he looks at the fight in three quarters. So he's on a defensive mode, especially when Pacquiao throws punches. He's on a defensive mode. He's trying to get out of there when he should be looking for a way back. He should be looking for a way Well, I would say Pacquiao has more, two more effective punches. Pacquiao back punches, I mean, punches and punches. Yeah, and, uh, you know, from, from the other side, if a judge is looking at that, he's going to think that Pacquiao is scoring 7 and 2. A professional career that began in January of 1995 when Keith Thurman was 6 years old. Oh, big right by Pacquiao. He's smart and not drop his hands inside and work his body and try to slow him down. What did he say to you? I saw him and whisper something to you. He said yes, yes. Right, thanks so much. Right up the middle, a little left hand right up the gut. He did that twice to him. But Thurman's coming right back. Yeah, Thurman should come back, especially after Lanny coming. You know, Keith's nickname is one time. I don't know if he's got one shot that could actually hurt the guess because he's so far ahead right now. In my mind, I think he's far ahead. I think he's won the majority, if not all, the first six rounds. No, I'm saying he shouldn't back up. He should be slipping and blocking. And being there, Pat will be closer for the counter. But to take a step back, well, there was a nice little start in each other. I did the first half, the first half of this fight to Pacquiao, whether he lost to Robert Tito or there. He won the first half. Thurman has got a drive for, uh, for Thurman in that last round. He's got Pacquiao backing up. Look, I mean, uh, Thurman threw that right up again to the belly of Pacquiao. But Pacquiao's got Thurman on the run right now, and he's got him hurt. You know, we're still in this fight right now. And Thurman's loading up for that left hook, so Manny's better be careful because Thurman's looking for that left hook. Try to trap him on the ropes. You trap him on the ropes, you take him to him. Hall of Fame trainer Freddie Roach in Pacquiao's Ben Getty, who passed away in 2009. Ben's son, Chris, is a member of Thurman's team. Thurman told us that Ben Getty always told him to whatever you give him. This is why he's one of the greatest. And Thurman's reacting to anything Pacquiao is throwing right now, so he... I think you have to be really judicious about what you throw against him and what you throw him. Because he throws so many punches. Maybe the first two miss, but the third one's gonna hit. Pacquiao with a knockdown of Thurman in round one. Another good right by Pacquiao. Those were black. Pacquiao again, the aggressor. See what Pacquiao's doing right now? Well, Thurman walking straight in. He's got his hands up and elbows in, but man, he's still threading the needle. Coming. Instinct back, and you loved that he was upset coming into this fight. What did you tell him going into this round, and what have you seen thus far? Uh, go after this guy, tell you, tell you, combinations, you're too fat. A nice jab by Thurman, and then a lead left hand by Pacquiao, and Pacquiao's doing really right in this fight. It's pretty amazing to think about it. As good as Thurman is, uh, you know, this just... You know, see, he needs this after the fight. Good luck felt by Thurman, as a matter of fact. But, you know, if I'm breaking this up into two two parts, I get the first... Oh, good count. Oh, okay. There's a headbutt. You did that or a punch, but it may have been a headbutt. I missed it. Manny Pacquiao, the only eighth division champion in boxing history. He's held 12 titles. Not only the right hand, but that left hook. Look at Pacquiao, though. He's, he's such a bad screw. He's just thinks it was one thing. When he loses a set, a combination set, that he's got to get it back. 
and even it up on the judges' scorecards. That's what he's doing right now. Good feet and hands. Look, Manny coming forward on him. Also, you know, when Manny throws his combinations, I think that's a better time to catch him and throw punches because he's looking so open. Yeah, but he's so fast. But now, look, I mean, he's surprising me right now. I, mean, I can't believe he's 40 years old and still fighting like this. A little bit down the line where he's got his mouth open. That's never very really good. You're right. Okay, thanks very much, Marcos. All right, by Pacquiao, Patrick Foreman. Well, that's in big jeopardy right now because Manny Pacquiao's really taking charge in this fight. And look, at the end of that last round, Thurman was really awesome. He's got to develop something that works for him. Good way for Bayless Collins to watch their heads. Kenny Bayless with the great referees of all time in Las Vegas. He's been on the job for a decade. Combination by Farmer on the right hook. He landed the right hand and a good hook. I, I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, both corners uh, are working really well on uh, staunching the flow of blood. You got, uh, well, you know, I, I, I don't disagree with those numbers because Pacquiao, wherever he goes, he's always flicking out his right hand. That always precedes. Uh, that's kind of slowed him down in this round. Oh, good, good right hand, hand. Thurman. Yeah, he stepped into it when he threw that right hand. Yes, he did. Usually, usually you know, in Keith Thurman's point of view, he's going to try to do it, but whether he's got enough gas in, in, in the, the tank to be able to do it. Bottom of the right. Got to come back with that left hook. Back up through a right hook at the same time he got hit by that right hand. 19. Here he is, 21 years later. He will turn 41 in December. The only knockdown came back in round one. Pacquiao knocking down Thurman. That being said, Birmingham knows that Keith Thurman needs a knockout to win this fight. I agree with that. Judge at ringside, Glenn Feldman scores about 114 to 113 in favor of Keith Thurman. Judge at ringside, Dave Moretti scores about 115, 112 in favor of Manny Pacquiao. And Judge at ringside, Tim Cheatham sees it 115 to 112 in favor of the winner. Boxing's pride of the Philippines, the ageless wonder, the one and only current WBA welterweight champion of the world, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao!